Essential design elements for a luxury landscape. In this video, we're gonna dive into what you need to make an amazing home design for a luxury landscape. My name is Benjamin Goodpasture. I'm a real estate investor, real estate coach. Please make sure you like and subscribe. We're gonna be doing a lot more videos going into luxury homes, into flips, multifamilies, and hotels. So come check it out. All right, so number one is the security gate. This is one of the most important parts of a luxury home. You know, you want privacy and you want security. So we went with a custom black steel front gate. I got the design off of Pinterest and just love the kind of mid-century, the Scandinavian vibe that it gives. So that's what we did. All right, let's check it out. So the next important part is the driveway. This driveway was about 50 years old. It was cracked up, really bad condition. So we ripped it out and put in a brand new driveway. I think curb appeal is everything, especially on a luxury home. You wanna make sure you have a good impression. So the first impression when you come to this house is you have this beautiful custom modern gate. You got this brand new driveway. You know, you got this beautiful landscape. You got these oleanders these this beautiful green shrubs that are blooming and we got this nice gravel this rock alongside of it with uh landscape lighting so at night we have these path lights that are lit up just gives it a magical experience so when you come in you see the gate you're like you're curious like what's behind it so the gate opens up you got this long driveway you can't see the house so it creates an experience that's something that I think is so necessary for creating a high-end luxury experience on a home. So let's walk up the driveway. So obviously the driveway, the experience was already here, but we put in a new one just to update, make it more modern and new. All this was here. We did a lot of trimming, a lot of uh, maintenance. It's springtime, so you can see stuff starting to bloom. And right when you turn the corner here, you can get a little glimpse of the house, which I love. I love having an experience. So you're going up a hill a little bit and you see the first side of the home. I think that's really cool. I think it's, it's all about creating that experience for a homeowner or for a guest. As you walk up, you'll see we got these path lights spaced out on either side. These are oleanders, these are great. These are already here. Like I said, all we did here was just maintenance, just a lot of trimming, trimming, make it look better. Flowers are starting to come out. All of these will bloom in a lot of different colors. So you get to this point, this is when you really start to see the property, it opens up. So one of the first things you see besides the house is you see these beautiful olive trees. These trees we, we bought in Orland. It's about an hour drive from here. So these are 30, 40 year old trees that we brought in on a huge, you know, tractor trailer truck. And uh, they're anywhere from 15 to 20 feet tall. They're awesome. It just really creates an elevated experience. And we wanted to give the landscape more of a Mediterranean kind of, uh, drought resistant landscape because Reading where I live, you have these drastic, drastic temperature changes where it can get 115 degrees in the summer. It can get as low as the twenties, maybe the teens in the winter. So there's not a lot of plants that can survive that. So we did the DG right here, really simple. DG, uh, which is decomposed granite. It's just a nice like road base. You can drive on it. It just looks clean and simple. It gives it that Mediterranean look that we love. We added, uh, you know, grasses, some different yuccas, different plants, some shrubs right here to give it some, some texture, some dimension. 
that's why we added these rocks. I was like, man, there's something missing. Like, it just seems too flat. And I was like, we gotta get some, some boulders to put in there. So we put in a few of these guys, a few of these boulders around just to give it a little bit more dimension and character. We got these path lights to go all the way through, as well as the trees are lit up at night. So the, the nighttime experience is just incredible. Just seeing all the trees lit up, seeing the plants, the, uh, the path lights, it just creates such a great experience. Um, when you're inside the house looking out, or if you're outside looking in, it really does create a, a luxury experience. I think the, the landscaping, the lighting, the flow, all those things really do like make your property set apart. So to continue with the driveway, we extended it all the way to the shop. So before the driveway ended kind of right at the behind these cars. So we wanted it to go fully to the shop so you can use it and drive in there, create more parking. Uh, we redesigned what the driveway looked like. It was a little bit different, but we wanted to create a lot of parking because this house is an entertainer's house. So you need places to park when you're having people over, you want it to be private. So kind of, uh, you know, two of the big things with landscape design, you have your hardscapes, which is like the driveway, your concrete, your asphalt, and those were a big deal. So you can see we did all new concrete around the house. Before it was this ugly red color, it was awful. So the whole, like carport area it was this old outdated concrete so we did all new concrete here we added this beautiful modern uh, walkway to the front door and i love that it's these rectangles you know it's that these oversized paver style which goes with like the front door also goes with the look of the garage doors so you see these themes uh throughout the property and the design of the house, as well as with the landscape. So we did these, these pavers around the sides as well, just to kind of be consistent with the themes. Uh, also, same in the front, we, uh, we decided we wanted to have some sod. I thought it was really important to have some grass in the front. You know, just that greenery just really pops. I'm also thinking about the way it looks outside I'm thinking about the usability. I was thinking, man, this would be a great spot for kids to play. It'd be a great spot to just hang out because this is south facing. You could sit out here, sit on this concrete wall that surrounds the tree, have lunch, uh, just hang out with friends. And then, you know, facing southwest, you can see the, skid the city lights at night. You can see the sunset over the mountains. It's just beautiful. So. Having that outside look is important. It's functional. You know, you want to use this space. You can walk in the grass. Also from the inside, just looking out, it's something beautiful to look at. You know, when you're washing dishes, you got this big 12 foot window and you see this beautiful olive tree, right? This is a grand tree that is like the centerpiece of the house. So we wanted to create the best, biggest, beautiful tree in the front. I love that we put this concrete planter around it to kind of establish it and root it as like, this is the centerpiece. All these trees, like I said, are lit up at night, which just gives it that elevated experience. So with the papers, we added some Mexican pebble in between. It's a little bit of a bigger rock. To me, it's more sophisticated, more modern. We did the smaller Shasta granite through here. It gives it that Mediterranean vibe. It's also drought resistant. It looks great. And then we put in, you know, plants, grasses. Uh, we got these really cool plants that are, you know, blooming a little bit, which adds a little color, which is really great. Throughout here, we all, we have drip lines. We have drains. So you can see like where these uh, rain chains are. Right below, we've got drains. So it's just great. Everything drains to the back of the property. So you have no water issues uh, around the house. All that goes into the master plan when designing uh, your landscape. So you gotta think about water. You know, you gotta think about runoff. When we're creating this driveway, we're creating the elevations on these concrete patios. You're thinking about where water's going. So we've got it all going away from the house. So that's really important when you're designing your landscape. It's thinking about the water, thinking about drainage. 
uh, thinking about drip lines. We also have you know irrigation. So all this grass has uh, sprinklers, so it's always getting watered. That's key in Reading. We'll get to you know 115 degrees in the summer. So kind of moving on, going around the side. Another really cool area. Last minute, decided to put an olive tree right here. Wasn't a part of the original plan, but it really balanced the front out, having two olive trees in the front. Just love the way that looks. And then we also wanted to align three trees on this side. So when you, when you drive up on both sides of the driveway, you see olive trees. And then this whole section of the property is just, you know, it's, it can be used for parking. It can be used for play. Uh, eventually I thought it'd be cool to have a, you know, uh, what is it? Not, not a tennis court, but a pickleball court or some kind of sports court. You know, there's just a lot of options you could do there. And then you can see we put in a brand new fence that goes around the whole property. I love that it's, you can see through it. You know, you can see like the landscape beyond it. I didn't want to create a solid fence where you feel like you're blocked in outside of nature. It's like, let's let the, the nature in and keep out anything else that we don't want. You know, it could be like deer, it could be animals. Um, and so that's a big part of the design of the fence is to create beauty so you can see uh, all the, the natural landscape that's around us. So as we go around this way, we got the decomposed granite over here. You got the gravel over here with the plants. We added a lemon tree right here that was on the back of the property. So we just moved that to the front. This is our spa area. So I love this little, like created little nooks, little areas. So if you walk in here, we did four separate pads. So you can have a sauna, you can have a hot tub, you can have a cold plunge, you can have seating. You know, it's just a cool spot to hang out. I've always wanted to have a sauna, cold plunge. Yeah, a hot tub. So I wanted to create a separate area that's fenced in that just has a different vibe to it. So that's what we did here. Got an outdoor shower that can go in. We haven't put this in. It's all wired up. All the infrastructure is here. So now it's just plug and play. You just buy the sauna, the hot tub, the cold plunge, and then it's ready to go. And then this is the backyard. Really wanted to have another area that was going to be grass. I envisioned this part being um, part of, you know, the entertaining area. It's like you have kids, you can throw a Frisbee, you can have cornhole. And I love the idea of having grass growing through your, uh, your pavers. I just think that look is really cool. We, uh, over here, we have the, the pool equipment. It's all hidden. Didn't want, you know, didn't want to see that ugly pool equipment. So make sure to cover that up. So it kind of matches the whole spa area. Grass, we put some, some trumpet vines here. They're going to grow up on the trellis. And then this is the pool area. So all this is brand new. The concrete that was here was just old, tired. They're sunken in areas and yeah, we tore it all out, redid the whole pool. We had to scrape up all the previous uh, concrete and we did all new plumbing for the pool. We did a new smooth Pebble Tech finish. You can see it's just got this beautiful look and it's a, essentially a lifetime pool. That's what I love about it. If you need to, you can drain it and you can repolish it and you can do that for a lifetime. So this is a really important investment. In the summers, like I said, it's hot. It's important to have a great pool. And so we extended this out a little bit, made this a little bit bigger for entertaining. And then we built a huge planter back here. Some of these big yucca plants, they were in the front yard. So we moved them back here. Just, it creates a, a statement piece you know these big properties you want big things like big trees big plants big pools that's what creates a luxury um, property in my opinion so all this was 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 added we also did sod there's a ton of grass in the back that covers this whole back area you can see 
kind of comes all the way back over here. You have this extra large yard. And to me, like that is um, an essential for a, a luxury home. Having this big grassy area. We took down a lot of trees actually. There are these big trees that just seemed out of place. And it created more of an open, grand, you see more views. And then we added plants all the way around. So yeah, the backyard is very dialed. So fun fact about these palm trees, they used to be over there. We relocated them, created these big planter boxes, these steps, just gives it a grand experience. So yeah, it's just a great way to use what you have. Like we already have those trees, we just moved them. And they really do frame up this, uh, this stairwell very nicely. So all this grass redid, the property goes back to the fence. You know, back there I envision having potentially planter beds, you can have a garden, uh, just so many options. But wanted to keep it simple, keep the grass down here, planter bed right here. We did uh, the cable handrail. I think it gives it that really nice modern touch. Just an awesome property. So, you know, all this space, the views, all the trees, it, uh, it really does make it a one, a once in a lifetime property. There's nothing like this in Reading. To be this close to downtown, to have this kind of privacy in a neighborhood, you know, to have two acres in a neighborhood where most of the homes are a quarter of a lot. And, in that since it's a flag lot, you know, you got this private driveway, it opens up, it's, uh, it makes it special. Let's go check out the fire pit. There's a cool fire pit we created over here. So with the pool area, we added this concrete patio. This is an in-law unit, so it's a separate uh, living quarters. It's a two bed, one bath. Before I had this really ugly fenced in area, there's nothing there. So creating just flow, with that, with the walkway going around the house, just creates, you know, flow, which is important. Over here, we created a, a fire pit. Got some more of these boulders and just wanted to create a separate area for hanging out. Love this. You know, we have a fire pit on the, around the pool, but that's gas. We wanted to create an actual wood fire pit here so you can have, you know, Another area of the property where you can have host events. If it's a colder evening, you can just come out here, have a build a fire, very simple, it looks great. And uh, yeah, I think, you know, last, just kind of overview some of the things here is like, you wanna create an experience for people. That's, that's the name of the game for a high-end luxury home. You wanna create an experience where people feel like, oh, they feel the feels of the beauty of, of nature. And then you wanna make sure there's, um, you know, things that go together, that all kind of adds and flows and um, is consistent. And so that's what we try to do with picking out stuff that, give it, that gave it a, a luxury feel, a Mediterranean feel that works in your area, in our area where it's, you know, like I said before, it gets it gets cold in the winter, it gets really hot in the summer, so it has to be, you have to choose the plants that work for your local area. So what we did was, we found a design company online called Yards In, never, never worked with them before. Uh, it was a great experience. You know, I took videos and photos of the property and sent them to them, and then we went back and forth on on design and they did everything. They pick out furniture, plants, you know, landscape materials, and they create these beautiful drawings. So you can decide and essentially hand these plans to your land, uh, landscaper and they can build it. 
the amount of plants, the kind of plants. And so we had to tweak that a little bit. There's a few plants that my local guy was like, hey, I don't think those will, will make it. They might die if it gets cold. So we made a few adjustments, but overall, having a landscape company, a design company, help us with the overall big picture was a huge blessing. It, it, uh, it gave us uh, a really good idea of what we want to do, what we don't want to do. And we tweaked it. We modified it a little bit, but overall it was a great experience. Um, and yeah, and I think it gave us a great product, you know, with the security of this amazing fence with the whole pool area, creating that, creating uh, walkways, path, lighting, you know, having that front security gate to bringing in these beautiful olive trees. Most people don't even know you can do that. And that's uh, one thing that makes this house really special. So in the end, we spent over $200,000 on landscaping alone. Most people don't spend that kind of money, but this is a multi-million dollar property. You got these million dollar views and it is a special unicorn property. So we wanted to go above and beyond and create uh, something that a buyer could come in and it would be turnkey. It'd be like, you just move in, everything is done, all the systems, the landscaping, the, you know, the irrigation, the lighting, all that is done for you. So you just bring in your stuff, move in, and you get to enjoy it. We did all the heavy lifting to make it right. So if you're gonna do a luxury home, I recommend going above and beyond, find a designer to help you with the landscaping, bring in people that know what plants work in your area and, and go big. Because when you're thinking luxury, you gotta think of a buyer, what they want. And that's what we did. We were like, okay, what would a buyer want in a luxury home like this? And so we thought that through and then we, we created it. So anyways, if you like this content, be sure to uh, subscribe, like, and we'll be creating more content like this. So I'll see you soon.